Have any of you actually ever played Terraria? If you play games, or at least PC games, for at least a couple of years, then you should probably know what it is. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and today I just decided to rant about it because I couldn't find out anything else to rant about. Good day to you peeps, and welcome to another speed paint. You know, speed paints that I can't figure out how to balance out at all. Either I do way too many of those gameplay videos, and I do absolutely no art, or I do way too much art and no gameplay at all. Excuse me, I'm a bit sick, and you might also hear me choking on a bit of halls, meanwhile, not sponsored. But I also don't want to die due to my cough doing this 5 minute recording session. But anyway, Terraria. It's an old game at this time, isn't it? It's from like 2011 or something, and I'm still talking about it. Reason being that the game probably still feels new. If you don't know what Terraria is, then it's actually what would be considered the first Minecraft clone. Remember, this is back in 2011. Minecraft had just started picking up pace, and as soon as Terraria came out, everyone thought that it was just gonna be another copycat. I personally actually prefer this game because it, there's so much more to it, except the creative part. It's a sandbox game like Minecraft, and it's 2D, and then it's also sort of more adventure RPG-ish, in a way. You spawn in a world, you explore the world, you gather lots of different materials to build armor and equipment and stuff, and maybe get loot, so that you can finally defeat the various bosses throughout the game. It's a pretty simple concept, really, but what I think's really amazing about this game is how a abundantly filled with content it is. If you remember the objective of Minecraft, if you didn't do anything creatively, then back in the day it was mostly just getting diamond armor as quickly as possible. That, like, that was all there was to Minecraft back in the day, and since then they haven't really actually made that much of a change. Well, yeah, you can don't go down to the dungeon system, you can go to hell now, you can get to the end or whatever, and you can defeat a dragon, and then that's basically it. But then again, most of the prime reason why Minecraft is so popular, then it's because of the creative stuff that's come out of it. But if you're not that creative, but still like the sandbox aspect of it, then I definitely recommend Terraria for you. You can create anything you think of as long as it's, you know, 2D, all while actually doing like adventure stuff and progressing. And I think Terraria has made vast progress compared to Minecraft since then, which is weird because Minecraft is like, it sold so much, why couldn't they afford a team that could develop more stuff for the game? I don't get it. But Terraria evolved like crazy. So at first, there were actually only like, I don't know, I think there were four bosses. King Slime, which was only occasion, like that thing only spawned occasionally, so you didn't even need to beat it. There was the Eye of Cthulhu, the Eater of Worlds, and then there was Skeletron. That was all there was to it, you killed those three bosses and then basically you were kind of in that Minecraft situation where you didn't really know what to do except doing creative stuff and, I don't know, building houses. But they really upped that, like, they, I think they quadrupled the amount of content since then. It's like it's been in early access all this time just because they keep updating it. Or, wait, no, that's not right. Because games in early access never come out. Okay, 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 that, that, that's a dangerous path. I don't want to go down the, the path of early access ranting because, oh boy, that's... That's a can of worms I don't want to open. But you know I mentioned that it had like three main bosses you need to get through, right? Well now it has 13. That's a lot of bosses, man. And I really love just seeing this game evolve so much because at the beginning it was just this simple... It just... it, it looked like... it looked exactly like a Minecraft ripoff. It was just... It was just mining, killing a few bosses and that was the only difference. But now it's completely different, like it's this huge RPG-ish element to it, and it's so fun to play with friends. But I'm guessing the reason why they kept going is because that they just kept getting so good sales. Well, that's not a very good argument because Minecraft is still getting good sales. But hey, Terraria is in like top 30 most bought games. Player Unknowns is actually right under it now. Huh. But yeah, I just think it's really cool how dedicated they are to this game, because they even made like Starbound? Wasn't that supposed to be like a different game they made and they were supposed to work on that? Because I don't really know, it seems like they've been updating a way, like, whole lot more on Terraria. And it's just fun, because every time I seem to, like, forget it and then check back on it, there's even more stuff to play. So that's exactly what I want to talk about, because I think I'm gonna sit down and play myself some Terraria. Oh, by the way, as always, I have no idea what I've drawn to this. I actually developed, sort of, or have been working on a new art style, because I wasn't really happy with my old one. And also, it took a little bit too long to draw, I don't really know. But I've been working on a new art style and maybe I'm gonna incorporate that in this some sort of way. But, oh right, that's not even all the bosses, like there's all these events and stuff too. It's like, I think it's the game I've seen with the most content for that low price. Like there's so much stuff to play, I have like 600 hours, hours clocked into that game. It's so fun. 
And it doesn't need to be played with friends, but it, that's definitely a bonus because I remember me and my friends actually used to give each other different classes because there's so many weapons and stuff. So you could have like a ranger, like a guy who shoots, a guy who uses magic and one who uses melee weapons. And it's just cool figuring out stuff with that on your own because it's, it's like playing Minecraft, but also like a bit like an MMORPG because you're working together to take down these huge bosses. It's just, it's so cool. But anywho, this was kind of like just an improvised video, I guess, because I am very sick. I don't want to strain my voice too long, so I guess I'm going to cut it short here. I just wanted to give a few praises to this game that I don't think has been praised that much and is still going, even though, you know, it's not that popular at the time. So definitely check that out if you were... If you're curious, it's, trust me, it's well worth the money. There's so much content, but I, I already said that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't be an idiot like me and get sick. I'll catch you guys later.